welcome back to The Wealth Reader, the channel that helps you achieve financial freedom through book reviews on finance-related topics. Today, we're moving on to Chapter 3, The Power of Compound Interest, The Eighth Wonder of the World. Have you ever heard the saying, slow and steady wins the race? Well, this couldn't be more true when it comes to your finances and the power of compound interest. In this chapter, Housel explores the incredible impact that compound interest can have on your wealth over time, using real-life examples and cases to illustrate his points. One of the key takeaways from this chapter is that the earlier you start saving and investing, the better. By starting early, you give your money more time to grow, and the power of compound interest has a chance to work its magic. For example, Consider the story of Grace Groner, who invested $180 in Abbott Laboratory stocks in 1935. By the time of her death in 2010, her investment had grown to a staggering $7 million, all thanks to compound interest in the power of time. But Grace Groner isn't the only example of compound interest at work. Another inspiring story is that of Ronald Reed a Vermont gas station attendant and janitor. Despite his modest income, Reed managed to accumulate an $8 million fortune through diligent saving and investing over many decades. His secret, the magic of compound interest and the discipline to stick to his long-term investment strategy. Furthermore, let's discuss the famous example of Ben and Arthur. Ben starts investing $2,000 per year at age 19 and stops after 10 years, while Arthur starts investing the same amount at age 29 and continues for 30 years. Surprisingly, at age 65, Ben ends up with more money than Arthur, even though he invested for a shorter period of time. This perfectly demonstrates the power of starting early and allowing compound interest to work in your favor. Another important point that Housel makes in this chapter is that the power of compound interest is not just about the amount you save, it's also about the rate of return you earn on your savings. The higher the rate of return, the faster your money will grow. So, it's important to choose investments that have the potential to provide a high rate of return, while also balancing risk. Take the case of Warren Buffett, for example. Buffett's extraordinary success as an investor can largely be attributed to his ability to identify undervalued companies with strong growth potential. By consistently investing in these opportunities, he has been able to achieve impressive rates of return, allowing his wealth to compound exponentially over time. But compound interest isn't all about making money. It can also work against you if you're not careful. For instance, consider the dangers of high interest debt. If you carry a credit card balance with a high interest rate, your debt can quickly spiral out of control due to the compounding effect. That's why it's crucial to manage your debt wisely and pay off high interest loans as soon as possible. So, how can you harness the power of compound interest for yourself? Housel suggests speaking with a financial advisor or doing some research on investment options that are right for you. By taking the time to understand your options, you can make informed decisions and give your money the best chance to grow over time. In conclusion, Chapter 3 of The Psychology of Money uncovers the incredible potential of compound interest, often referred to as the eighth wonder of the world. Through real-life examples like Grace Groner, Ronald Reed, and Warren Buffett, Morgan Housel demonstrates how starting early, choosing the right investments, and understanding the power of compounding can lead to significant wealth accumulation over time. By applying the principles of compound interest to your own personal finance journey, you can set yourself on the path to achieving financial freedom. Remember, it's never too late to start. The key is to be consistent and patient, allowing time to work its magic on your investments. Thank you for joining us for this review of Chapter 3 of The Psychology of Money. 
Don't forget to subscribe to The Wealth Reader for more insights and discussions on personal finance and wealth building. We're excited to have you as part of our community, and we look forward to sharing more valuable tips and strategies with you in our upcoming videos. Until next time, happy investing and wealth building.